And now let's take a look at the past perfect continuous tense. We'll obviously be talking about the past, we'll be talking about two actions, and we'll be focusing on the fact that one of those actions had been continuing at another point in the past. In order to form this tense, what we need are two auxiliary verbs. We need our auxiliary verb have, conjugated into the past, so it turns to had. We use our auxiliary verb be, with our present participle form of the main verb, which is the verb plus ing, and be being conjugated into the past as well. So for positive sentences, we would start with our subject. Here, it's Sue. Sue had been cooking. Our negative sentence would be, Sue had not been cooking. And in order to ask our question, again, that inversion of the subject and had, so it comes out, had Sue been cooking. And now the usage for the past perfect continuous tense. It is as follows. Using it to communicate a continuing action in the past up until an additional action in the past. Here we have, Sue had been cooking for three hours before we ate lunch. The action that had been occurring up until that point was, Sue had been cooking for three hours. Before the other action, we ate lunch.